So for this client, the specific ingest objectives, we need to handle client data in a variety of, of file formats. Want to land the data as it comes in uh, into some staging table in a relational database. We want the process to work without any advanced knowledge of the incoming file formats. Instead, we want the ingest process itself to inspect the incoming file and detect what the structure is, and then use that structure to actually read and load the data uh, into these stage tables. Uh, essentially, ingesting into a data lake where we have rep uh, a relational representation of all of these incoming files, and then some downstream process can do some so, sort of post-ingestion uh, action. And then finally, uh, we want to simplify retries or reloads, right? Because we want to be able to, if the first ingest uh, goes wrong or fails for some reason and the files don't land correctly, we want to quickly make adjustments and rerun this again. Um, and as always, we want to do that without the help of the development team. We just want to be able to quickly make an assessment and rerun, right? So again, objectives for ingestion. Here's a, a, a flow chart, right? Um, same sort of pipeline look, right? Fetch the files that need to be ingested, determine what their structure is, create a target table that matches that structure, load that data from the files into that target table, archive the incoming file, and then create a log, right? We've got some artifacts along the way when we guess at the file structure, we call that metadata, right? So we'll keep a file that's our guess at what the file structure is, and then we'll keep a sort of an archive of the files that we successfully processed. That's an important piece of this pipeline, these artifacts that are created on the fly. So we can go again from a flow chart that looks like a pipeline into an actual Clover DX uh, data pipeline. You can see the same steps, list the files from wherever they're coming from, filter out the ones we're not interested in, try to create the metadata, create and load the table, uh, and then uh, create the log. Uh, log here is an Excel sheet, right? So very, this is a Clover DX data pipeline as built in our design tool, right? That's the base case, simplest way to think about it. And, and when you're designing, this is where you'll start, right? Uh, but there are some additional sort of challenging uh, pieces to this design, right? So I've redrawn the flow chart. I've added some new components. They're shown in red. Our, our original original basic chart still there in blue. You can still see see the original basic flow chart uh, written in blue here. But these red are new components that are going to add uh, our ability to to do some retries and to quickly iterate over the ingest process uh, and adjust uh, for any issues that occurred. Right. So we introduced some decision points, right? We fetch the files to ingest and, the, and we ask, do we, do we need to ingest this file or have we already ingested it? Is it already over here and, and safely ingested? If it is, we can skip it. Uh, likewise, uh, do we need to guess at the metadata or have we already guessed at the metadata and have the metadata available? Uh, maybe we can skip that step. Um, and then finally, we're going to log, add some additional parts to the pipeline where we can log uh, the success uh, or errors that occur from loading, uh, because any errors that occur are going to affect uh, or sort of inform our ability to maybe change the metadata, maybe pull the files out of the safely processed directory and, and, and iterate and run over and over again. When it's all done, every file that's over here is going to end up over here and we'll have correct metadata. But it may take you know, multiple iterations of the pipeline uh, to do that. And we want to make the pipeline adapt to that, make it very easy to go through that iterative process. Uh, next step, as you might imagine by this point in my presentation, is to take this chart and, and turn it into a Clover DX ingest pipeline, right? Uh, a lot of stuff going on on this diagram, but Let's take it slow. Remember this one up here in the gray, this was the first pipeline I showed you, right? The base case, just list the files, create the metadata, load them into the table, uh, and then update a log. That's the base pipeline. And you can see that base pipeline is still in the final pipeline. It's, it's, the, it's the items in these red boxes, right? List the files, create the metadata, create and load the table, ingest. So this base pipeline is still in here, 
I have just uh, added some additional steps to make retries uh, part of the process and to make it automated, right? So here's that, here's the check inside of the Clover DX pipeline. Have we already processed this file, right? We simply go off and we compare the list of files we've already processed with the list of files that we need to process. And if there's a match, then we don't need to process the file. Same for the metadata. Do we already have metadata uh, for this uh, file? If so, uh, we don't need to guess. And so we can skip the guess step. You can see there's a, a path around that now. Uh, that means that if the first time you run this pipeline and you generate metadata, based on you know the pipeline does its best to guess at the metadata and put it into a file if that guess was wrong uh, you can go in and manually intervene and change it. it's like oh well this should have been a date uh, and not a string or this is the format of the date or this is a float and not a numeric right we can make some minor tweaks manual tweaks to correct the metadata and simply rerun the process again maybe using that REST API that I showed you where you can run them on demand. We don't have to trigger for an arrival of a file, we'll just run it on demand. All right, and then here's our, our, our logging occurs, if, log, uh, if errors occur in any step, we log that data down, in, down into below here.